I recently got married. For the third time? No, 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 keep that same energy, you guys. You guys were with me when you thought I was pure, didn't you? You was like, no. I get it, man. Nobody knows how to respond to a third marriage. Nobody knows how to respond to a third marriage. First time you get married, everybody's happy for you. Congratulations, Jay. Welcome to the marriage bus. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> you think? You think? There's no destination on this bus. I just jump on, I'm just supposed to ride forever, you know what I'm saying? Forever, forever, ever? Like, I'm just, that's what you want me to do? I want off, I feel like it's going to crash. And then it crashes, you jump off, and you get in a car, and you ride in a car for a little while, and then one day you go, you know what? I want to get on the bus again. You know how stupid that is? It's not logical. You do it again, the second time you get married, people are still with you but they got questions. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. You good, though? <laughs> you, you straight, fam? <laughs> I mean, because you remember what happened the last time, right? You do remember that, that situation. Yeah, bro, I remember. I found out that the third time you get married, your mama don't even show up to the wedding. <laughs> I texted my mom, I was like, mom, I'm getting married again. She was like, Okay. <laughs> I was like, I need you to be at my wedding, Mom. She was like, I don't think I can make it. I was like, I didn't give you a date. I didn't give you a date. No, I didn't give you a date. She was like, nah, bro, tap out. Love is not your thing. Give it up. It's over. I said, like, I don't like that at all. And in all fairness to my mom, she was right. I didn't know how to be married. Nobody knows how to be married. How do you keep a good marriage together? I don't care. I don't care to hear what you think it is, because whatever you think it is might not work for me. I ask you guys how you keep a marriage together. You be like, oh my gosh, communication. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I ask you guys how you keep your marriage together. You be like, oh my gosh, trust and honesty. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I ask you guys how you keep your marriage together. Oh, we're a serial killer couple. What? <laughs> what? Too much information. So I had to figure out what worked for me. And I figured it out. I'll share it with y'all, because right now I feel like we family. <laughs> While me and my wife were dating, we bought a mattress together. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Jay, that's, that's crazy. Well, it's a $1,400 investment. It's the first thing you need to know. <laughs> and as we were signing the contract, I looked across the table and I, I said, yep, we are going to be together for at least 57 payments. <laughs> I don't know how long that is, but it sounds like a long time, don't it? It's like, because what I know you're not going to do is break up with me and mess up my credit score. I will, I will dateline you for my credit score. I will, I will put you on an episode of Dateline in a minute for my credit score. No, oh, man. I do love my wife, though, man. Let me just say that. I love my wife, man. I just, I just understand this. Understand this. Women, however you love your husband, he is not going to love you back the same way. And that's not to, you know, I mean, I, I, everybody's going to get up and tell you, oh, what, what, what are you trying to say? Listen, men's love is practical. Men, the way men love is practical, practical stuff. Like we make sure the mortgage is paid. We make sure that, you know, your car is fixed. Like, I'm not going to fix your car because these hands are for petting kittens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Look at my nails. Do I look like I fix cars? No. But I will take your car to the shop and get it fixed for you, but I'm not, not fixing your car. But that's the kind of stuff that we do as men. Women's love is way deeper than that. Women love you, like, to the core. Like, they care about stuff that men don't even care about for themselves. Like, they care about our health and our welfare. Let me, make, let, me, let me prove this to you. My wife and I both have medications that we take every day that are essential to our well-being. Like if we don't take them, it could go bad. And don't, don't get too, you know, down about that. We're not gonna die, but just, you know, but they matter. And without fail, my wife reminds me every day, babe, don't forget to take your pill. 
don't forget to take your pill. And I go in the bathroom, I take my pill, and I go about my day. I have never once, <laughs> hear me out, I've never once made sure that my wife took her pill. <laughs> I've never asked her if she took her pill. I just feel like when she reminds me, that's her reminder to herself <laughs> to take her pill. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to remind you to, t to live? You know what I'm saying? It's not, I don't want you to die, but I don't want to be responsible for you living either. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole lot of weight to put on me. I don't. <laughs> I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted to eat. Remember those days, bro? Uh, uh, whatever I wanted to eat, whenever I wanted to eat. It was so lovely. Me come off the grill 185 degrees, I didn't care about my throat. <laughs> Just throw it in there, you know what I'm saying? Swallow it, drink a beer, it'll heal. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I think that's how it works. <laughs> Got the power of Wolverine. Just. Now I blow on everything. <laughs> Which is weird, right? This is weird. I just I blow on everything, man. Me and my wife was at the dinner the other night, man. They bought our, our entree to us, man, and I started blowing on my food immediately. <laughs> my wife looked at me, she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm blowing on my food to make sure it's not too hot. She was like, what? What? I was like, I'm trying not to burn my mouth. She said, dude, it's ice cream. <laughs> and I don't like your response. I don't, you're very judgmental, very judgmental. For all I knew, they could have threw my ice cream in the oven or the microwave or something before. We got the news.